since the negativity is getting really old, and I was informed that I'm not very value-added in the toy community recently, <laughs> I decided that I was going to do something a little different, and I'm going to talk about stuff that I find important, and that's building bonds through the strength of little plastic dollies. So this is going to be a little different, but let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to do something a little different for this video, and I'm going to talk about some good people that I value in the toy community, who I don't see as just part of a toy community. Like, I see these guys as real true friends, and the first thing we're going to take a look at is this care package that I got from my buddy Mikey Kukovic. Everybody needs a friend that uh, has a good sense of humor. And Mikey knew that I couldn't go to Assembly Required this year because of uh, the requirements that I need to go through for my retirement from the Army. So he sent me this awesome care package and we're gonna take a look at it right now. So there's a lot of cool stuff in this care package and uh, kind of get gonna get to it little by little and first there's this handwritten note who writes handwritten notes anymore my wife and I write letters to each other but I thought this was really cool and Mikey says I hope you enjoy your new cadet Deming we're gonna get to that stalker looks like he needs a good cleaning but his parts look great that's what she said I got you a few pairs of the Sam Fisher nods or the night optic devices we're gonna look at those two I think they turned out pretty good. I packed your shirts and a few other goodies I thought you would enjoy. One last thing, I wanna thank you for your constant support. It means a lot to me, as does your friendship. Give my best to the family and those house panthers. Love you, brother, Mikey. Thanks very much for that, Mikey. That, that letter meant a lot to me, man. And uh, so we're gonna kinda of get into some of the stuff that he was talking about in that letter. So he sent me this rad patch. Uh, I'm a big fan of Joe related patches and you know his tanks as well so that's right up my alley. He sent me this very cool extensive enterprises clicky pen. Big fan of clicky pens. And then he sent me this assembly required uh, command file and it says it is Chad. And it's monkey wrench. Monkey wrench being my favorite dreadnought so Mikey put a lot of thought and care into this care package, and this is super cool. Here's the nods that he sent me because I had asked him a question about Sam Fisher nods because I really wanted to make a 118 scale Sam Fisher, and he's like, I bet you I can make those. And there they are. So these are the, the three lens goggles that Sam Fisher wears and he sent me three of them so that is super cool thank you so much Mikey I will love them and I will put them to good use maybe I'll make a a young Sam Fisher an old Sam Fisher and whatever based off the games but big fan of Sam Fisher and here is the Arctic Stalker and his kayak. I really wanted this kayak. And um, because I've always said, if I have a vehicle or a playset that comes with an O ring driver, well, the O ring driver is going to go in it. So, yeah, kayak, stalker. Stalker looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, dude. Even the camouflage on his beanie looks good. So right on. I'll, uh, his arms are really tight. Very cool. I'm gonna not mess with the rest of that right now. This, if anyone saw JMK Custom Works video about how he made a custom Cadet Deming, well, here she is right here. So this fine lady, She's got goggles. 
Look at that figure. Look at her. Oh man, she is gorgeous. Just look at her. She's amazing. All right, so we're gonna pull her out and take a look at her. Set her there. I love these blank dog tag stands. They're just, you know, they're useful for anything. They're so cool. Put that there. Yep. Oh, what a great figure, man. She is fantastic. Look at the detail on her. He hand painted that Cobra on her chest. He dremeled all of that. What a fantastic looking figure, man. She is amazing. And there she is. Thanks to my good friend Mikey from JMK Custom Works. There's Custom Cadet Deming. I'm just gonna leave her posed like that. So she looks fantastic. Again, thank you, Mikey. Um, then I got a couple of drawings since Low Light is my number one Joe. I really, really appreciated this. Uh, so there's a, a nice artist interpretation of Low Light that says, I got your six. It's uh, really awesome. And since I believe only one ninja exists in G.I. Joe, it's an awesome drawing of Storm Shadow. More of the Resolute style where he has the hood and the short sleeves. It's pretty rad. And this, if you notice, that's the Commander. That's a female Cobra Commander. Hooded, of course. Thank you, actually. That's rad. And then, of course, I was once a man. So awesome. Very cool. Thanks again, brother, for all that stuff. And then Mikey got me a couple of different assembly required t-shirts, which uh, again, I can't thank you enough for my friend. These are super awesome. They will be loved. They will be worn and they will be uh, displayed. So this care package from a good friend, this is the kind of stuff that I believe that we should all be doing in the toy community, sharing our love for little plastic dollies with friends. It's, it's just the small stuff. It's the little things that mean the world. Like, you know, getting this name badge from Assembly Required with my favorite Dreadnought with It Is Chad on it. It, it just means the world. You know, all of this stuff, so much thought put into this. And then my good friend, Master Versal Toy Hunter, and a big part of the toy collecting community, sent me from the other side of the world, a complete septic tank. Just like M. Vargo sent me one, Master Versal Toy Hunter was sending me one as well, because I had made comments that I didn't have any septic tanks and now I have two. So again, Master Versal Toy Hunter, thank you so much for this septic tank. That's gonna be loved as well. Oh no, it fell apart. I'm just gonna have the hose in there. But that's gonna be very much loved as well. And this one's in perfect shape too. They just look great. Finally, I got one other thing and I've been meaning to open this for a long time. This is from my good friend, Matt LaCroix. And this was actually uh, 3D printed by Dennis at Level 7 Toys. And Matt sent me this a while ago and I've been meaning to get into it. I've shown this on a couple of live streams, but never really in a video and not everybody watches live streams. Once I'm done rat fucking this bag. This is kind of a best of both worlds figure. This is Outback. Modern construction body. All the points of articulation, but he has rivets. Riveted forearms, 
elbows. He has the shoulder joints almost like a six inch figure does. He's got riveted ankle rockers. Look at that. And of course, since he's the master, it has the signature Matthew LaCroix hand-painted camouflage on it. Matt hand-painted this figure. Look at how gorgeous this is. Now, to me, that's Outback. That is just absolutely beautiful. Good updates to Outback. He's got the little armored boots, but those ankle rockers are fantastic. This is a great meet in the middle. He's got wrist articulation, all the points of articulation that you would think that you would want to see in a figure, in a four inch figure. I mean, this guy is just fantastic. He's got the butterfly elbows. Look at this dude, that is awesome. But again, right from the master himself, Matthew LaCroix, and I cannot thank you enough for this, my friend. That is so amazing. Thank you, thank you for that figure. And again, he will be loved as well. He will have a special place in my collection. So I wanted to do something that was a little more positive, a little more upbeat. And I think that, you know, we as lover of dollies and shelfies should really kind of share that passion with people and not worry so much about who collects what, who buys what, who likes what, but more so like, hey, I thought this was cool. Maybe you would appreciate it because these pieces will always be appreciated in my collection. Every time I walk by one of these, I will think of Matt LaCroix, Master Versal Toy Hunter, and obviously Mikey Kukovic. You know, I'll think about all the times that Mikey and his dad and I would stand around talking about Call Sign Longbow and G.I. Joe and just all sorts of stuff that we're passionate about. And I'm gonna do uh, some awesome stuff with this Outback here. I might make him break dance, I don't even know. But these are gonna get framed. They're either gonna get framed and go up here in the Joe room or they're gonna go in my office because these are just fantastic. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. And it's just that kind of stuff right there that you know really makes you feel that you know your efforts are appreciated, your friendship is appreciated by others. And I think that this is stuff that more of us need to pay forward, you know, to our peers and our friends, people we respect and appreciate. And somehow Stalker's taking a nap now, but whatever. Anyway, I just thought I would share this stuff. And again, it's not about the dollies. It's not about stuff, even though we all like stuff. I like stuff. It's about the bonds. It's about the little things that count to people. And it's about just letting people know that, you know, you're friends, you're real friends. Uh, you're appreciated and none of that is ever lost on me so thank you all three of you gentlemen uh, this stuff is fantastic you're all awesome people and uh, I will always make sure that I pay this uh, kind of stuff forward to others So anyway, I just thought I would switch it up uh, with a different kind of video today and really show my appreciation to, you know, friends who, you know, send things out of the kindness in their heart and just the fact that people send things that, you know, are, are really well thought out and, uh, you know, they're very touching. And I think that this is stuff that more of us need to do more frequently. Instead of worrying about who buys what or what has bad QCs, sometimes maybe we just need to, uh, you know, bring it down a couple of notches and remember that the stuff is supposed to be fun, right? Toys should be fun. It should be enjoyable. It should be about, you know, building bonds and things like that. And I just think that, uh, Maybe we could all do it with a little more positivity. So thanks for watching this video. Um, 
have an awesome day. Oh, and uh, just for historical purposes, <laughs> this little artistic gem was on the inside of the box. So thanks again, Mikey.